Hey guys, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today is honestly such a beautiful sunny day that I was like, I want to take advantage of this good lighting that's coming into my room right now. Today, I'm probably filming my most requested video that I get on my channel. One of the most requested along my magazine collection videos. Today's video is an updated vinyl collection. I looked back at my channel because I wanted to see the last time I actually did one of these and it was over a year ago. <laughs> Um, coming up almost over a year ago. That was my last updated vinyl collection and I was like, I've accumulated a lot more vinyl. I'm probably never gonna show this amount of vinyl in one video, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I have so many new vinyls that I've bought that I've like actually forgotten like what I've actually put in videos and stuff. So if you are new to my channel and don't know how this video works, basically I've done two previous vinyl collection videos. Hello Reg, we're looking after my auntie's dog. So if you see him coming in, oh, are you gonna sit on my lap? Okay, well, Reggie's gonna stay here. So as I collect more vinyl, I just add on to the video. I will never show my whole collection in one video because that will just be way too long of a video. So these are basically add-ons to my first ever record collection. So the vinyl that I'm about to show you in this video is not my whole entire collection. I have two previous videos, so I'll link them in the description box. Oh my god, I actually don't know where to start. Okay, I'm just gonna pick the first one off of the pile as I see them, so let's just do it that way. First one we have is the Ariana Grande Sweetener record. I found this on eBay. I tell you what, eBay is actually my best friend now. I have bought so much vinyl off there recently for such good deals. I think the seller actually sent me an offer of like £23, so I got this even cheaper than what it was listed for. Right, if I'm being completely honest, we're going to get a little bit of hate for this, but this is not my favourite album of Ariana. I actually wasn't planning on getting this on vinyl just because it wasn't one of my favourite albums I've had. Don't get me wrong, I love a handful of songs on the album, but like, if I was to pick one, this would not be my first choice. Because it was so cheap on eBay, I was like, I kind of got to get it, because I do love a lot of the songs on here. This is a standard black record. If I pick up a record and the disc is just standard black, I won't bother showing you. But if it's coloured or special edition, then I'll show you. I put the hype sticker on the actual record. I know some people hate that, but like, it really doesn't bother me. It's a gatefold. The gatefold is beautiful. I really love like the art and like how it's laid out like a renaissance gallery or something it's absolutely gorgeous you, you lot are probably gonna think these sleeves are disgusting as well i know literally this one is ripped these are not the best quality sleeves i purely bought these just to keep them in a better condition i need to get like better duty ones and higher quality ones if you have any recommendations of like good quality sleeves like please let me know for like reasonable price you know next we have Khalid Free Spirit I got this off eBay again this was opened um this wasn't brand new when I bought it but I didn't mind because I got this for 18 pounds which is an amazing price I was so happy I really wanted Khalid's albums on record and I just have never really seen them in my record store still looking for American teen I've been after that for ages I've just not gotten around to buying it I just keep forgetting but this is free spirit really love the album cover of this one this one is just a standard black pressing but it is a gatefold so it opens up like this this is not in like awful condition as well like as you can see it does have a few like scuffs and like creases here there's also like a little bit of like wear here but i don't mind that as long as the record plays good then that's all i mainly care about but ebay is a very good place to buy vinyl i've really enjoyed getting my records off of ebay and i've gotten some really good deals and whenever i can find a cheaper record for like half the price i'm gonna do it <laughs> next record we have is Lau. this is all for nothing i saw this in hmv this was a very very impulsive buy i must admit usually when i buy records i have to make sure i like at least half of the album to buy it on record just because you know vinyls are expensive i saw this in hmv and i love Lau. i actually really like his music i enjoy it but i'd never heard this album before but i really loved the cover so my main purchase for this was the cover because i thought the cover was just gorgeous with all the lights this is actually the indie exclusive cover so i just love all the lights like shining off the water i think it's gorgeous here's it without the sleeve it's like a matte finish cardboard i also have the hype sticker on it that's what the front looks like and then here's the back I like that the track list is in like a green foil this is what the gatefold looks like this one is actually a special disc so i'm going to show you this is what the sleeve looks like really cool so you've got love on this side and then you have the track list and the lyrics yeah the lyrics on here and this is a gorgeous gorgeous sea blue look how beautiful that is it's so pretty i absolutely love this pressing and you can see like the little ripples like 
in the vinyl it just looks like the ocean and i absolutely love it i'm sorry it's a little bit dusty i do need to clean it <laughs> such a gorgeous pressing and i just think it matches the album so well it's one of my favorite albums that i've bought recently this album is literally on my playlist i just love it so so much and i was so excited when i got it on vinyl this is conan gray super ache i this is one of my favorite albums of the year i kid you not this is such such a good album mine's just the standard front cover because i know you could get like an exclusive hmv cover um but this one is from urban outfitters so this is the urban outfitters exclusive black and red vinyl which i'm so excited about but there's a thing with this i'll show you that in a minute what the front looks like and here's what the back looks like this is probably one of the best vinyls i've gotten for money in terms of what it comes with i've never had an album come with this much stuff but first off we have the record i'll get to that in a minute you have all of this stuff that comes with it. First you get this poster, this was the other variation of vinyl that you could get with the exclusive album cover. You get this poster which is so just gorgeous because of I love like the vibe and how retro it is. You get this little envelope right? Look how cute this is! This is so cute! Three posters within this, they're kind of like these little letter posters of the songs with the lyrics. So this one is a footnote, so pretty i'm keeping them all in pristine condition because i'm redoing my room at the moment so i'm probably gonna hang some of these up best friend this is probably my ultimate favorite song on the album this one which is on like a floral paper i know what it's called i just can't remember the name right now this is for summer child this is such a cool idea like i feel more vinyl should do this i'm sorry and then this one is memories that's not all you get like a little like photo card film strip you get polaroids like look how cool these are these are so cool you get three polaroids just the aesthetics for the whole album are just absolutely gorgeous you get so much like this is value for money the sleeve as well as little like petals inside it's just so cute the whole aesthetic i just love so this record right the pressing is gorgeous but there's a thing with it i want to see if you can point it out do you see what's wrong with it there's a chip this actually came with a chip in it when I opened it. And I was like, oh my god, it's broken. But I noticed it's only broken on the part where there's no grooves. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, do I send this back and get a new one sent to me? Or do I just leave it? So I left it. <laughs> because I just thought it's not going to affect the play of the record. And it, I guess it kind of matches the vibe of that album. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, the, the songs are quite, like, sad, some of them. It's like, the vinyl's broken you know i don't know should i've got another one because of how much money i spent on it probably i should have but i just i'm too lazy i just can't be bothered to send it go through that whole mismatch and then whatever i just couldn't be bothered so <laughs> i just stuck with it break by conan gray is a definite on vinyl i tell you that now all right should we move on to some tea swizzle i think we shall i got folklore on record i have been wanting this for so long Finally got it. Again, does this album really need much of an explanation? No, everyone knows how good this record is. What the front looks like. Here's what the back looks like. It's a beautiful gatefold. Oh, just like this. It's beautiful, I love it. The sleeves look like this, they're absolutely gorgeous. They've got a photo of Taylor and then like the lyrics. And this is a beautiful like beige pressing. Oh. This is gorgeous. It matches the vibe of the album so well. Taylor's records like are just so pretty. Like they're always executed really well. The presentation, the aesthetics, the colors for the records, they're just beautiful. This is what the second sleeve looks like. And then the disc is literally the exact same, but I'll show you it anyway. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This record is so hard to find just lying about in a in HMV. Honestly, the amount of times I've gone to HMV, and this has not been there is crazy going to brighton with my friend one day and then i was like you know what i'm gonna look in this record store see what they have and then i just saw this just casually sitting on the shelf i literally just snatched it up you may have seen my review and unboxing of this but i have evermore as well evermore is has a little special place in my heart just because i named my dog after a song's album what front looks like this is what the back looks like. So if you don't know, I named my dog after the song Willow. I just fell in love with it as soon as it came out and I had it on repeat for months. Um, and then I got my dog and then I named my dog after the song and then I got this tattoo for my dog and the song. So <laughs> this is technically a little Taylor Swift tattoo because 
I wouldn't have known my dog if it weren't for her, so little history there. This kind of has the same aesthetics as a folklore, like in terms of layout with the sleeve. This is probably one of my favourite coloured pressings that I have. It's this beautiful limited edition forest green. It's just gorgeous. This is such a gorgeous pressing. I just, I love it. I love the colouring. Sorry if the discs are quite like dusty i need to clean them haven't cleaned them in a while i'm not going to get the other disc out but this is what the second sleeve looks like it's just gorgeous i really love this record i got this from urban outfitters as well and the sleeve actually came like opened i don't know if you can see but it's like ripped there um so that's quite an issue with urban outfitters the records don't come in the best condition i've ordered two vials from there one the record is actually chipped and the second one the packaging is just destroyed a little bit on the sides i don't know if i'd like fully shop for records at Urban Outfitters. Um, I'd only get them there if I can't find them anywhere else. Just be cautious with that when you buy from Urban. I have Fearless, Taylor's version on vinyl. I got this for Christmas. God, has it been that long that I didn't even show my Christmas ones? Oh my God. Okay, I'm really sorry. <laughs> this has been such a long time coming. This is probably one of my most expensive records. Uh, this was 54 pounds. I didn't buy it, so it was great. <laughs> this is the biggest record as well. So here's what the front looks like. Here's the back. There's so many songs, 27 songs on a record. Never heard of before. So this is like a tri-fold. So it folds out regularly like a gatefold and then it folds out a third time. And there's three discs in here, which is absolutely mental. This is like an insane record. I've never had a record like this before. I'm only going to show you one of the discs just because they're all the same, um, but they are like a gold colour. Oh my god, it's a gold pressing. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god, it's just gorgeous. I love it so much. Look how pretty that is. I love like the little swirlies. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. <laughs> I can see why they put the high price point on it. Cause like, come on now, <laughs> you're getting like free records. It's heavy as well. Like this is a big boy, this one. Some of the vinyls amongst this pile, I would have done video unboxings on. So you probably were aware that I had them. The next is Planet Hair by Doja Cat. I love this album. This is again, probably one of my favorite albums. This is again, a beautiful album. It's a gatefold so it does open up to this really cool photo of Doja and like this pink background. I love it. Discs are just plain black and I thought that was a really missed opportunity. Like they could have done like a purple and blue like swirl. They could have done a picture disc of like a galaxy or something. Like there was such a missed opportunity. It's just standard black. Will they release like a special edition of like the anniversary of the album? I don't know. I hope they do because like a galaxy disc would have been so cool they could have done so much with it next this one i actually got in the post literally like two days ago so this is the urban outfitters limited edition wonder single i found this on depop actually for you're not going to believe this two pound fifty sealed brand new might i just add obviously including postage and packaging it kind of up the price so overall i paid six pound fifty for this that's amazing some people probably bought this for like 20 pounds probably i just had to get it because it's sean and it was so cheap i was like okay i cannot let this go this is literally just one song this is just the single of wonder i've never had a 12 inch single before i've only had the seven inches the sleeve is nothing special but it's the disc that is just so pretty this is what the pressing looks like it's like a milky clear i think it was described as it's so pretty like on one side you just have the standard wonder single and then on the second side you just have the acoustic version of wonder did i need this no i really didn't but i just thought hey it's so cheap that like i'm gonna get it and you know add to my little sean collection let's go on to soundtracks shall we should we go on to soundtracks i've bought quite a few soundtracks lately first one being the stranger things season one and two soundtrack i got this at the stranger things experience in london i've been wanting to get a strange things record for god knows how long i've just never really bit the bullet to do it so at the experience you get voted like team leader of your colored group i was in the blue team and i got voted team leader so i got a sticker for it so i just put it on the record because it like reminds me of the day you know front looks like and here's what the 
back looks like again chunky chunky track list it's, so it's basically like a mix of just 80s music one thing that i really like about this record though is i don't know if you can see but like there's little tracks called the dialogue and it'll basically have dialogue from the show so for example the first one is intro will singing the clash dialogue because it's actually Noah Schnapp singing The Clash and then you have Bring Him Home dialogue so it's actually like the characters from the show saying lines that's incorporated in the record which I think is a really really cool touch. Here's a gatefold so it does open up like this, a track list and stuff and then you have scenes from the show, mix of season one and two once again. I'll just show you them really quickly. Cute. The discs anything? I think they are just standard black discs. Are they? Yeah, they're standard black discs, so I'm not going to show you the pressing. But it does come with a little something something. It comes with this season two little poster with it. Then it also just has a big Stranger Things sticker. I'm really scared this video being too long. I don't know. How long have I been recording for? 32 minutes. This video is going to be so long. Okay, I've kind of got to get a move on now. Following Stranger Things, we have season four. I got this on pre-order. I loved the soundtrack for season four. I think it's one of the best playlists that they've had for one of the seasons. Here's what the front looks like and the back. This is a gatefold, so it does open up like this. Kind of similar layout to the previous record. The vinyl is really cool though. It's a, is it an exclusive? I can't remember. I think it was an exclusive because they had just standard black pressing. But it's this gorgeous like deep red pressing it's so pretty this is probably one of the strongest red pressings that i have look at it it's, it's so cool it's so cool i love it. it does also come with a season four poster this was a very impulsive buy for me it's the spider-man no way home soundtrack this is one of my favorite no, my favourite Marvel movie. I cannot tell you how much I love this film. I've seen it way too many times to count. I was casually just shopping and then I happened to go in HMV and then I was just looking and then I saw this there. I just grabbed it without hesitation. I didn't even read it properly. I just saw Spider-Man, No Way Home, perfect. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this was so impulsive, but I really don't care. It was expensive as well, but I don't care. <laughs> this is a gatefold as well. Again, there's so many songs on here. This is mainly like a soundtrack, you know, so like, background theme music. I think my favourite one on here is really sadly Forget Me Nots, if you know you know. Really cool gatefold of one of the scenes from the movie. Like, this is like a three-way poster okay so first you have this photo of Tom Holland's Peter Parker on the bridge in his iron suit and then you have this one in his Far From Home suit and then it opens up again. I mean it's technically a poster because it's laid out like that um but it just has the production team on it and like who helped compose the music with just a bunch of different scenes from the movie which is really cool and then you get the full poster i got confused so that's like a mini poster and it's like this and it just has spider-man doctor strange on the front and it just says spider-man no we have at the bottom i'm not gonna lie though i am contemplating getting the amazing spider-man soundtrack just because i love the amazing spider-man i don't know though i'm still deciding this one i did a whole dedicated video on because i just couldn't believe that i got my hands on this this is euphoria season one soundtrack i found this on ebay for 62 pounds it was a bidding again i did another review and unboxing of this on my channel i just i still can't believe that i've got my hands on this to this day i this is like my prized possession. The front cover is just absolutely stunning. Like how the tears like reflective. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. And then the back has Rue at the carnival and then just the track list on the side. And then it is a gatefold so it opens up like this. It does come with a little like poster card thing of Rue and Jules on the front. And then you've got like production team credits and stuff with like scenes from the show. Look how pretty this disc is. It's purple splatter. It's just so cool. My, I didn't think mine was as splattery as it could have been compared to like other discs that I've seen. But then I watch other like reviews of people who had this exact pressing and all their gradients are the same. So I guess it's just the style of the pressing. I haven't played it much just because I'm kind of scared to, I'm not gonna lie. This is the most expensive record in my collection um, and worth the most as well. So I'm kind of scared to just play it. I have played it though and oh my God, the bass the base if you do manage to get your hands on this 
get it. Okay, we're down to the last three records. <laughs> we can do this. This video is so long already. Oh my God. Harry Styles, Harry's House. I've loved this album. I think this has been my favorite album of this year. I've, I've had it on repeat. It's kind of like helped me in ways. So I just really love this album. It's got a special place in my heart now. The front looks like, and this is what the back looks like. It folders like this. This is my favorite photo of Harry from this era. I just, I love it. This one comes with a little like durable book and it just has Harry's house. It's basically got like credits and lyrics. Love this photo. A lot of people put this on their wall, just like spread out, but like I like to keep my vinyls in like good condition. So I don't tend to use the posters that come with the records, but this is such a cool photo, I love it. And then I got the exclusive yellow pressing from HMV. Love the blue sleeve as well. Can we talk about this electric blue? Beautiful pressing again. I just absolutely love it. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. When I think of my top three albums of all time, that are like my favorites, this falls under my top three. I don't usually cry to Matilda, um, but when I heard it live, I bawled my eyes out. It just did something to me. Next album that I'm in love with this year, Midnight T-Swizzle. T swizzle you might done yourself that's all i can say front cover back cover as you can tell by the back cover i got the moonstone edition i would have loved to have gotten the lavender one but like i wanted the signed edition so that's why i got this one gatefold like this this one comes with a booklet as well kind of like the harry one and then it just has the lyrics to all the songs on here i did a full review on this though that's why i'm kind of skimming past it so I did do a full unboxing of it on my channel. Again, I'll link it down below. This one though, the main reason I got this one is because it was signed. I'm currently redoing my room at the moment. So I am going to be putting this up in a frame on my wall. I just need to get the frame and I just need to organize my room a little bit. But until then, this is staying in the sleeve in pristine condition. This is what my signature looks like, by the way. If you didn't see the unboxing. Here's what the sleeve looks like. I love this outfit and this photo, it's so pretty. And in the back and then the disc itself is a gorgeous gorgeous translucent blue i love it one thing i love about this record as well is like it came with its like specialized hype sticker like it actually says that it's signed like i love that that's so cool last record that i'm gonna show you in this video is this one this is the 1975 being funny in a foreign language i got this very impulsively this was a very impulsive buy it was 20 quid i love the 1975's music i'm looking to get in their other albums on record i just again money <laughs> records are expensive i listened to the album after i bought it on record though and i really love it really really love it i love the 1975 music anyway so i didn't think that i wouldn't like it but i don't know there's always that fear that you're not gonna like it but i love it it actually didn't come sealed it came in this hence why i've still got the price tag on for it literally like it came in this so I was like, okay, that's like a vintage take on it, isn't it? I love like the aesthetics though. I think it's really, really cool. It's just like a single sleeve, but it does come with, this is like the lyrics to the songs. So there were two versions of it. There was the standard version, which was the clear pressing. And that was the version I thought I got. Cause on the front covers, it doesn't specify what pressing it is. There was a clear one. And then there was a second one, which was a HMV exclusive blue pressing. I didn't realise I picked that one up because I was aiming to pick up the clear one, but I didn't realise there were different pressings. I just thought they were all clear until I got home and opened it. Um, but I don't care because it's still really pretty pressing, so I'm not too mad about it. So this is the HMV exclusive blue pressing. It matches the aesthetics of the record really, really well, so I'm not mad. Mine has a little like defect in it though, like little black speckles. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, really pretty pressing. Wow, <laughs> we did it. We did it. That is my updated record collection. This video is so long. Oh my God, if this takes a while to come out, I'm sorry. There's a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite record was that I showed in this video. I cannot tell you when the next record collection is gonna come out because obviously these things take time, but I am planning on uploading an individual vinyl collection of my seven inch singles. So stay tuned for that because that one's gonna be coming very soon also. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. They are all linked in the description below. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.